Hi everyone, it's Secret. I haven't forgotten about you guys, or have I not forgotten about my... Let me move some stuff around. Odd Girl, which in reality, now that I've had her for a while, I don't see nothing odd about her much, like like I had intended for her to be odd. She's more of a a pretty girl, I'm assuming. I'm really proud of my work and what I've done. Uh, so for you guys that know that I have not done a face before and this was my first one. I was thinking of having my daughter do some kind of odd little animal, maybe an odd dog, an, ad, an odd something, maybe a giraffe, I'm not too sure. So I have her working on that, so she's really good at drawing. I tried my hand at doing animals these past few days, which today's Easter. It's our first Easter, not actually celebrating Easter. Kids, kids didn't want to do an Easter egg hunt. They wanted the candy, but they didn't want to do the Easter egg hunt. But they didn't get the candy. We went grocery shopping instead. So, we got our refrigerator stocked with food. Thank goodness. So, yeah, she's not odd much other than other than the odd wings that appeared here, here you can see wings. Um, so that was odd, but otherwise her face is not odd. So, you know, it was my first try, so maybe my second one will be an odd, odder looking girl. But um, just to recap, the wings appeared really on their own um, when I was doing a cover up of her body because I did mess up her body the first time. When I was covering up the body with gesso with my rag, just random rag, this rag here, and I was doing this without knowing because I was smearing the, the white everywhere, you can see everywhere, the wings appeared. So we can consider, consider that kind of odd. But I've been getting so many people asking me, what happened to the odd girl? What happened to the odd girl? Well, she's here. I'm here. So I cut out from my drop paper a dress. I did that off camera because I didn't know how well I was going to cut it out. And I actually did a good job. So my drop paper is this paper back here. I have tons of it that I, when I'm done and I think that the paper is well enough painted, I roll it up and I put it up on one of my shelves. So I just flip the paper over and drew out a dress and the first draw came out good and here it is and it's just drop paper all sorts of pa um, paints that have dropped on my paper so let's put that down I should have prepared the glue but I, I didn't I have a piece of paper just that I won't waste up that glue that I just put on the paper. I'm just going to put that flower down over there. Okay. So let's glue this down. I want to glue it down really well. should probably glue it somewhere else where I'm not going to put the canvas down on. So I'm just right here on the side rubbing my fingers to make sure I get the whole dress covered. You can hear the puppies, Lori. Richardson, you can hear the puppies running around. So she's coming together. What have I been doing? I've been cleaning up my room as much as possible. Um, well, organizing, really. And I've been going through Happy Mail and putting stuff away. 
And what else have I been doing? Oh, I started a second face. If I here it is. Let me show you guys. This this is my second face, and I'm actually very very nice, proud of it. So here's my first face, and here's my second face. I really like the way it's coming out. Really, really like it. So she's kind of like a gypsy, bohemian looking lady, girl, not sure. And I drew in the circle. I'm going to put maybe a stone there. And then I'm going to put some gold leafing maybe down here. And then this here that you see is going to be like um, a scarf around her head. And here I think I'll put the blush. I think I did well. I really like it for being my second face. And everybody was right. Once I start my first, I'm not going to be able to stop. So, let's mess with her hands, which I'm not even sure which way they're going to go. be enough paint in that cap. We'll see. Let's just give it a try. Which way are, should her hands go? Behind her? Or out in... Let's see. The simplest probably would be to leave her hands as if they were going behind her. It would probably make it much easier for me than to try to give her hands going this way. So let's give her somewhat of an elbow so it looks like she's, you know, has her hands behind her. better paintbrush would be awesome. Let's see. I don't have many paintbrushes to choose from. Um, just over here trying to see if I can grab the right somewhat decent brush. That's all, if you guys have watched my videos, that's always my problem is not having the right brush. What else have I been doing? Let's see. That's a nice brush. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Okay, we'll put that away after. Really should put it away now, but I'm not going to waste your guys' time. I went um, dumpster diving, somewhat, kinda. I guess somebody had a yard sale and they didn't want to deal with their leftovers, so they just put it out on the yard on the sidewalk, and we picked it up. And I found some some paints inside, and I found some shorts and some shirts, and then stuff to go to the thrift store. This arm is going to get really thick, I can tell. That's okay.
Yeah, I found some some paints. Look, I found this one. Fabric metal metallic blue. Dark gray. Um, asphalt. And the white was almost empty, but that's okay. It's happy to find that. What else? Oh, I've been making a bunch of journals, little tiny journals. I found this box that you guys are going to see. Oh, it won't come out. It's just a vintage metal box. I've been also making these journals. A bunch of little journals for a swap that I'm in, which is basically just scraps of paper. And I'm going to do a tip of the day as soon as I get a chance. So I made about 18 of them. Even though we were only supposed to make five, I made 18 of them because I found a lot of scraps. What else did I find? I found... Oh, these note cards on the side of the street. What are these called? Postcards, maybe? Just like greeting cards. They're basically brand new and they were just thrown there. So I'll be messing with those. she's done. Oh, she needs legs. Can't forget about her legs. Can you guys see that? Let me zoom you guys in some more. Let's give her some legs. brush is quite stiff.
And I want to give her some shoes. That might be too thick. Let's see. I need to let that dry. Meanwhile, that dries. Let's mess around somewhere else. How thick is this pin? Let's see. That's not bad. Kind of trying to define her hair a little bit more. Not sure if I want to go in there. Uh, yeah, I'm not not too positive if I want to go in there. No rhyme or reason why I'm doing this. Just waiting for that to dry. And I'm purposely going to go a second layer here to make it look a little messy because I like the messy look. I don't like anything to be perfect really. What else can we do? Her hand looks like it's cut off a little right there. That's okay. Um, Just random circles. Oh, look what I found also. Let me show you while this dries. I'm assuming this is a tire to a child's uh, car. It's pretty heavy though. But look, look what we can do. And I really like the results. I've already messed with it. So never pass up a child's tire that has marks. Let me show you guys. 
Isn't that cool? Oh, I see a little star I can use. Isn't that cool? This little star, I want to put it down. Hopefully I find some more stars. It's, let's put it here. I don't know where that star popped up from. I think it was from a glitter mix that was sent over to me. Um, why don't we put some of these tire marks somewhere. Oh, do you hear Miko grunting over there? Oh, I like that. I like it. Now it's going to be my new addiction. Oh, do you guys see that? I'm not going to be able to stop now. Super cool. Okay, I need to stop. I just want to make sure I get all that ink. Use it up. Okay, that's how my drop paper becomes what it becomes. Okay. Let me turn on the heat on it for a little bit. Excuse me. I want to give her some shoes. I don't know if I want to give her some like pointy shoes. Let's see. It's my first time trying to do some shoes. Maybe I should use a pencil first. Just to see what kind of shoes. Well, I don't want her legs to look crooked. How do you do shoes? Let's see. Let's just give her like ballerina shoes then. Just because I have no clue how to do shoes. <laughs> no clue how to do shoes, guys. So let's get her ballerina shoes. I think they're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to like do the crossover looking like they're laced up or something. That's cute. That's good enough.
got distracted, sorry. I think I want to do them pink. If I have pink here. I don't have pink, so let's try to mix some pink. Some red. Sorry, I got a scratch. Let's mix it up right here. In this container. Some red and some white. Let's see if we can get pink. I think we did this for the lips and we got some some of that pink. I think I want it lighter than that so I think I might want to add extra white. I'm no mixologist so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to use a wet brush, but I'm going to. Now if I do any changes to her, I will show you guys. You know how you put things away. Actually, when my daughter cleans up her room, she's going to be taking this canvas. She likes it a lot. She says it reminds her of herself. And since it's my first one, she really wants it. I think some more white. So I'm going to be giving it to her. I thought that I was going to send it off, but my daughter wants it. And it's my first one, so why not? Who, who other to give it to but your my own daughter, right? But no worries, I'll I'll continue trying my faces out and see which one I end up giving away eventually. But not this one. I thought I was, but no, it got called. And being my first face, I think it should stay here anyways. After giving it some thought, I'm kind of getting attached to her anyways. I think that's pink enough. Let's um, use up what's on my brush. Oh, I found another star. There must be more if I found that one now. 